Hi, it's Lindsay from the Queen of Easy Green. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the latest product from GTEC. So, as I said, it's a new product from GTEC. And as you can see, it's the new GTEC Pro. This is another cordless vacuum from GTEC. But what's different about this is it's their first bagged vacuum. So what I'll do, I'll go through the things, pull them out of the box and have a quick look through, run through them, see what's in there. And then I'll take them all out of the bag off camera and uh, pull it together, go through the spec and obviously give it a bit of a sort of demonstration and stroke review. So, that. so the first thing we have is the main unit. There. We have, of course, the new bag, so that's a spare because there's already one in there, I believe. We have the crevice tool, so that's getting in small spaces. We have the power head, which will be for the floor cleaning. And there's the extension tube. Let's put that together. They have brush there for handheld vacuuming small crumbs etc and then we've got the power head and again that's when it's in handheld mode um, and last but not least there's the power cable for charging up the battery so i'll take them all out of the bag and then we'll put it together and go through the specs okay so I'm going to run through all of the um, components of the GTEC Pro. So first of all, we've got the main unit. So this is the GTEC Pro and the purpose of this model, and we've got the bag in it, obviously, which we'll go through, but this is actually to enable floor to ceiling cleaning with one product. So this can go from um, being handheld to doing on work surfaces, um, let's say in, up in the corner of the ceiling with an extension tube, but it can also be used as a standard vacuum cleaner for all carpets. And that's also another um, bonus with the GTEC Pro is the fact that you can go from carpets to hard areas and you don't have to change a thing, it'll automatically adapt to the surface. So obviously with all GTECs, we have the battery, and unlike the multi where it was located here, it is now located on the front. You can see the little button there, so you can re remove it. I'll just remove it there. It's a little bit stiff, otherwise it's new. So there's the power pack. Obviously this can be charged up separately. I'll go through the charging in a minute, just put that in, in location. And as you'll see there, it's, the, um, it's got the indicator lights. Each one of those represents 25% battery life and a four hour charge um, will give you 20 minutes continuous cleaning on the max setting. And that actually takes me nicely onto the next feature. And one of the criticisms of the multi was that you had to hold the button down during use. Um, so this one is actually different. It has two settings, as you can see, you can see there, it's got max and it's got eco. And as I said, you can have 20 minutes um, full suction power on the max. If you switch it to the Eco, you get 40 um, minutes runtime, but obviously you don't get as much suction. You switch between the two, and then you press the button there to start the GTEC. We have also, and this is the newest feature, um, it's the back. So just bear with me, you have to, it is a little bit still. So that, as you can see, is the new bag. And the idea of having the new bag is to increase capacity for the vacuum. Now, this can hold up to 1.5 uh, litres, I believe, just get that right. Yeah, 1.5 litres of dust. And this is apparently five times more capacity than most cordless vacuum cleaners. Um, so anyway, also what else have we got? We've obviously got the light on the top. And we also have, um, there's another indicator light down there so you can see if the bag is getting full. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on the eco mode and uh, just switch it on so you can sort of 
hear the sound level, then I'll go up to the max and then you'll hear how that sounds. So starting off with the eco. tube on and then make it up into the vacuum cleaner. So to make it into a vacuum cleaner of course you need the power head. The power head has the uh, obviously rotating bristles um, and what it's also got which is a new system, it's called the airlock system and you can see a little rubber blade there when the vacuum goes forward it picks up the large debris and then what it does when you pull it back it creates a vacuum and pulls up the smaller uh, dust and this is actually really great when you've got a hard floor and you've got uh, grout where sometimes very small crumbs and etc can often get missed so you connect, see the pipe there, you'll nip those two little green buttons together, put the um, extension tube in, and then fix it. So I shall do that now. It's got the extension tube, so take that end, just hold it like this, and just nip those together and click that into place. So there you have your extension tube. Next, fix it on to the main unit. Again, knit the green buttons together. And can you see this little locator there? Pop that in. And there you have, we've transformed it from a handheld to a vacuum cleaner. when it's in handheld mode is the power head. Now this power head is perfect, just clip it together there, locate it in, it's perfect for on the stairs. Um, again another criticism of the um, previous GTEC vacuums is that it was quite difficult to um, clean the stairs. Not anymore with this you simply attach the handheld power head, um, I'll switch it on in a moment, you get obviously the full suction of the uh, main unit but then you also get the power of the rotating uh, bristles there. So I'm going to have a quick blast and I'll put it on eco so you can hear how it sounds. Here we go. And again, simply takes apart and then if you want to put another attachment, uh, off you go. Another attachment um, for those very hard to reach places, um, bookshelves um, down the side of cupboards, you need the crevice tool. So of course you just fit that in there and you've got the crevice tool there. Or if you want to reach in the corner of scenes, get those cobwebs out. Extension tube, lock that in, and then put the ah, reach it crevice tool there. And as you can see. You can reach those hard to reach places and also don't forget you've got that light there so even if you're in a really dark corner of, of, uh, of a room or down the side of a cupboard you'll still be able to see what you're aiming the uh, crevice tool at and the final attachment is the dusting brush simply just 
fits in here again. This can be either in handheld mode or with the extension tube on. And this is actually um, a great little tool. Um, but particularly in the car, actually, I use this if I'm cleaning out the um, air vents because these little brushes can just get in between. But again, it can be used on the stairs in small places. So that's all the attachments. Um, and the weight, obviously, is an important aspect. Uh, in full configuration, the GTEC Pro actually only weighs 1.4 kilograms, so it's actually incredibly light. Um, and that actually adds to its versatility. So not only around the home, um, on every floor, obviously there's no cords, so you don't have to worry about um, tripping over cords, but actually it's really great for, like I've just said, for in cars, in caravans, um, it, can, it can pretty much go anywhere where you, need, uh, where you need to use a vacuum. So that's all about the accessories. Next, I'll just sort of run through the battery again um, to show you that, uh, how you charge that up. Uh, and just go through again what you get for the uh, amount of running time. So there's two ways that you can charge the GTEC. You can charge it with the battery in situ, as you can see there, and plug it straight into the wall with the connector on the side of the battery. Or you could take the battery off and uh, charge it separately if you haven't got a work surface that you can stand it on. Um, like I say, the lights, as you can see, they're pulsing. They represent 25% battery life. So as you can see, it's full charge at the moment. And it will take four hours to have a full charge. But you can also give it an hour boost. Um, and just to, obviously, this is the same 22 volt lithium battery that GTEC always use. And um, the two settings I mentioned before, the Max and the Eco, you can get a maximum of um, on full power 20 minutes cleaning or if you go on the eco you can get 40 minutes continuous cleaning so uh, obviously yeah, if you switch it on and off then you can extend and extend that time so that's pretty much everything I, th I think that you need to know about the gtech pro other than obviously the price the Complete uh, set that I've shown you is uh, £249.99. Um, I say it's the new bagged version. It comes with um, two bags already. And um, in hassle tests, GTEC say that actually uh, one of these bags could last you between one and three months. And uh, these are a pound each, so you get 10 for 9.99 again available from their website. So actually, I, I really like it. I mean, I've been a big GTEC uh, fan anyway, but what I like about this one is that it will do everything. Um, I need one uh, product to do all of the different sort of cleaning needs that a house um, has. Um, it's got all the great features again, the, the sort of the, uh, the fact that it's cordless. Um, the fact that you can get a quick boost on the battery, that it's lightweight, um, that there's different accessories. I like the fact that it's got a permanent button on it because um, that was a little bit difficult to trigger hold, especially if you had a particularly long um, sort of piece of cleaning to do. Um, and I like the fact that, um, as I've said already, but the versatility of it. So um, that's everything you need to know. I'll put the link um, below, um, obviously, to GTEx website. And uh, I'm sure if you've got any questions, you'll uh, put them below too. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.